the heater motor in the 3 series is making a right racket. Started off squeaking, but now listen to this. So tucked away underneath here, under the cover, we've got the heater motor and that's what we're going to get into. We're going to take this cover down and see if we can fix, out, fix the problem. Right, so in the footwell, under here we've got some screws. We've got one here and one here and we'll take this kick panel down. Oh, a TX20 bit there, so let's get that in. Always that one out first. There's one, and then there's one the other side as well. Just up here. That's that one out. And now those two should be able to just pull this forward and drop it out, drop it down. We've got a light and a sensor. Oh, sorry, a light down there and a, and a sensor up here. Look. A little connector plug on that one. Pop that out of there. And the same with this one here, there's a little tab on the side. And we can pop that one out as well. And now, like outside. And now under here, you can actually see the heater motor. Which is, which is this fella here. This white thing here is the heater resistor. And then the motor itself is, is this unit here. It should have a little screw in there, but this is missing. Now this went into the dealers for a modification on this heater motor not long ago. It does make me wonder, they took that out and not put the screw back in. And there's a little tab in there, push that in. And the other side and just pop that out. That's rid of that. Now we should be able to just twist this and rotate it and pull it out. Now it is a bit tight because you've got this plastic vent on the left and you've got like the uh, there's a little plastic um, part that, that attaches to the kick panel to hold it up and that's getting in the way as well but with a little bit of uh, twisting and jiggle it, it does come away and everything moves it's all flexing so you can see that on the right just catching look as well and this this pipe on the left but if we just give it a wiggle oh it will come out there we go oh oh dear me there we go there it is so let's have a look at this see what we've actually got going on all right so here we go what have we got here? This is the motor, and first thing I can tell you is that is stiff, really stiff. So we've got to see what's going on with the bearings. There's obviously issues, issues with the bearing in this. So we can see the top one. We can see the top bearing in there, but we can't see the bottom one. Got a lot of play in that. So what we'll do, I'll try and lube it up. It was squeaking for a while, and again, I presume that's why. Let's disconnect this. I'll take that off there. I'll take this heater resistor out of the way. I mean, this looks like it's got a bit warm. The, the wires have gone a little bit weird shaped. So. Totally. Now like I was saying to you, BMW had the car in for a recall, and that's the only reason it went in. But looking at this, I think that they replaced that heater resistor and they also replaced the main loom that plugs into it, the part that's actually on the car. They've had a few of these catch fire in the past and that's why they did the recall. That's your heater resistor. And what that does, it takes power going in, speed one, two, three, four and obviously then gives out what, how much power the, the motor needs to make it spin at the right speed. That's a TX10 that one, let's go with that. 
So what we're going to do now is remove the plastic outer cover from the motor. And there's just three of these little TX10 bolts there. Screws even, I'll call them bolts, screws. We're taking those out and then this whole plastic cover should just lift away. There's also, right on the top where the wire comes through, there's a little plastic flap that you just pop off. And we'll, we'll get that off with a screwdriver, which then releases the wires. Just ping that off. Hey, butterfingers. <laughs> so once that's out of the way, we can just pop these wires up now. Slip them out of the rubbers. And then gently lift. Itch, there we go. Took that wire through. And away it comes. Happy days, that's a bit scummy in there, look. There was the other, the other bearing we've got on the opposite side. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's get some lube in there. So I've got some TF2 lubricant, a bit of Teflon spray in there. Take the bottom. Already that feels like it's doing something. So I just give it plenty of squirt on the other side as well. Just keep working it, keep rotating it. definitely getting easier I'll speed this up a bit because it I spent about five minutes just working lube into this just rubbing it squirting it twisting it until eventually it felt pretty cool get in there so we've got plenty of lube in there and it's uh, it's definitely spinning a lot further than it was so let's uh, let's whack it back together again. So when we're putting the cover back down, the wire that runs up the side of the motor there has to sit into the groove in there. So we'll slide that in there. Get that lined up with that. Slip that back down again, and push it back through its little rubber, its little rubber grooves. And we'll pop those two connectors back through there. Like that. And get the screws back in. Now we've not got to ramp these up too tight. They're only into plastic, so just take them down and just nip them up. There's the second one, and then the last one, the third one. Bang that in there. Beautiful. Cover back on again. Like that. And we've got this heater resistor. We can clip that back in there. And two screws for that as well. This heater resistor, it's a great place to put it, right in the fan there. It keeps it cool. I've never known one of these to fail on a BMW, whereas on other models, it can be quite a common fault with them failing. So you get power on full, on four, but nothing on one, two or three positions. It does sound a little bit rough still, but not too bad, a lot better than it was. It's never gonna be perfect, because it is an old one and the bearings are worn. But we'll see. You see what what we have got there is because there's a lot of play in that M bearing. This does move side to side and is catching almost. I mean, it's so close. I don't think it is completely. 
but it's very close to it and obviously if it did you'd get some more noise from it i've put it back in i mean i might need to replace the motor but we know how to do it because we've took it all out so if i do i do if i don't hey ho we've saved ourselves a few quid because they're not going to be cheap right now we're back in i'll just check in there make sure we've got no obstructions where it goes into so if we look up into the cavity there we can see where it's going to sit it looks pretty clear in there I do apologise, a great shot of my head. Oh, look at all my hairs poking out my eyebrows, look. <laughs> anyway, here we go, look. Wriggle that, just manipulate them plastic pipes out the way there. Just feed it up underneath that, that little clip. It's a bit tight, but a bit of perseverance, and then it goes, look. Now we've just got to spin it now and lock it in. Just making sure that that screw lines up with its hole. And then just lock it into place so this is over this side screws up there now we can connect that one back up again or if we don't think we'll give it a whiz and see what it's like so that's first speed two three four Five, six, seven. I don't know what noise is gone. Down to speed number one. It doesn't sound too bad. It's nice and quiet, so I've got to hope that that grease is the the lube has got onto the bearings and is now spinning up nicely. What I do is I'm going to put a screw back in here where there was one missing. I'm going to find one. Oh no, it's a great shot on my head. You can just see where it's going up in there. Look, just behind there. Yep, there it is. That's it. Well, wow, solid ain't going nowhere. There's a little under tray. There's two connectors on there, don't forget. So we've got a little one in the back there for the light. Make sure that one's all the way in. And then this one here for the heat sensor. And you've got to locate that little hook at the back. It's got to go into this recess here, just to hold that tray up. We'll just make sure that we get that. And there's a little one on that side. There's a little one over here as well which has got to go through that hole there so it just slides forward so get it get it up there slide it forwards make sure that one's behind there that one's in that one's that one is now there we go slide it up into place and slide it up slide it up into place and then what the two uh, Screws back in. Lovely. Give it a final try, make sure it's okay. Sounds nice and quiet. Well, I'm really pleased with that repair. It's gone down a treat. That motor stopped making a noise, came apart nicely, went back together nicely. Hopefully saved us buying a new one. So if that's been of any use, just drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe, a comment, always love your comments. Thanks for watching.